Good Tuesday. Good Tuesday morning. Glad to be with you today. And um, we're still in uh, Luke chapter 9, and now we're at the feeding of the 5,000. We learned yesterday that God, uh, through Christ, gives us power and authority to do what He asks us to do. So we preach, we proclaim, we witness, and then we actually perform things. We actually do things that He leads us to do. Well, today we look at the feeding of the 5,000. And if you'll remember the story, I'll just paraphrase it. A uh, multitude is following Christ. It's coming toward uh, sunset. And the disciples said, we better dismiss this crowd so they can go get something to eat. We're in a, a remote, desolate place and uh, we can't feed them. And Jesus said, why don't you feed them? And he said, well, you know, we couldn't buy food. We don't have enough money. Well, what, what do you have? And uh, he took what they had, five loaves and two fish. He organized, had the disciples organize the groups into 50. He blessed what they had, and then he began to multiply it, if you will. And we learned some great things about ministry uh, in this. First of all, we learned that we, we always do uh, God's work as he works through us. You know, I can do anything if God does it through me. I can give any amount of money. I can uh, do any amount of amazing, amazing things. I can witness to anybody. Uh, you know, we can do great things for the Lord as long as the Lord is doing great things through us. And so we learn availability is something. And then we learn not to look at the circumstances, but we look at the resource. Our resource is always Jesus Christ. And he'll explain to us through the power of the Spirit dwelling within us uh, what needs we are to meet and how we're to meet those needs. And he'll always resource us to do. Whatever God leads us to do, he, we will always be resourced to do just that. We shouldn't worry about what we don't have or what we lack in terms of um, resources, in terms of gifts or experience or whatever. We learn to obey the Lord and to do exactly what he says by not looking at the obstacle, but looking at the opportunity for God to work through us. And that's what's happening here. So Jesus took the loaves and the fish, if you remember, he blessed it and he began to divide it up and give it to the disciples. And then they fed everybody. And the Bible said uh, here in, in chapter nine of Luke, the Bible said they were all satisfied. Uh, there was an abundance there. So we see availability leads to obedience, doing whatever the Lord tells us to do, despite what it looks like. Don't look around. Uh, don't uh, look out. Look, look to Jesus. He's the resource we have. He'll, he'll make the provision. He'll provide for us what we need. And in that availability that we have, there will always be uh, exceeding abundantly more than we ask or think. So what are you faced with today? Uh, what do you need to do today? How can you serve God today? You say, well, the, 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 you know, my resources are too slim and uh, the, the obstacles are too great. Don't, don't look at that. And don't look at the meager resources that you have. Look to Jesus to let him be uh, the one who provides uh, through you more than whatever is abundant. You can do great things for the Lord today if you'll trust him. Heavenly Father, thank you that you open our eyes up to the truth of Scripture. Lord Jesus, be our abundant supply today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.